Hi, I'm Carrie Sherburn, Senior Editor with They Think, and we're here in the Drupa Daily Video Studio with Olaf Lorenz, who is the General Manager for International Markets. That's right. For Kanaka Minolta. Welcome. Thank you very much for hosting. So, um, of course, first of all, just I'm sure everybody that's looking at this knows who Konica Minolta is, but just in case, let's do a brief overview of the company. Yeah, well, Konica Minolta has um, different legs, but the, the majority of um, our business is coming from the print industry. Um, and we have been just growing the past 15 years into the professional print industry, and from there we are moving up. Um, and another very important point for us is, of course, also the office business, where we are moving more towards the digital uh, digitization of, of uh, workflows. But, of course, Drupa is our, our main event right now to address the commercial print. Right, exactly. And, and where are you located at the show? Which hall? Uh, we are at Hall 8B, um, and we are very proud to have the seven lar the largest booth um, of, of that. So that's why we, we will be seen if someone is showing up at, at hall number 8B, so they will find us. They will find us. Terrific. Well, I hope they do that. And so tell us, tell us a little bit about what you're, you know, what's new for you at the show. What are you featuring at the show? Yeah, well, the, uh, probably the highlight of the show, or maybe I should start, um, that we have been doing the whole booth concept is following the Industry 5.0 concept. Okay. Um, which should basically put still the human into the center and technology should help uh, the individuals. And that's why we are trying to, sh to highlight how technology and how artificial intelligence can even help the, uh, the printing process and the printing workflows. And that's why, um, as we're moving also into the uh, high-end market more and more, um, one of our flagship products which we are introducing is the AcurioJet 60000, which is a V2 cut sheet uh, product that goes up to 6,000 sheets per minute. And is that inkjet or toner? That's inkjet, okay. it's UV inkjet, um, and it supplement the existing Cam 1E, which we have also, they, they're sitting next to each other. And um, that, of course, is, is our part where we would like to demonstrate that we are showing a certain commitment to move further into, into that area. So that, that is one of the highlights, but of course, we are showing also a lot of uh, new inline finishing uh, topics so that we show also from a, from, a, um, from a workflow concept viewpoint to show how this is uh, complementing in terms of end-to-end, -end, from a pre-press to a post-press. And, and also, so the productivity and, and, the, and the automation, a certain yeah, level of automation. Well, yeah. I think efficiency is always the word, right. the, the key word, the key word, <laughs> efficiency. Um, however, of course, um, as the whole industry is also recognizing a labor shortage in general, so anything that becomes more optimized and more efficient is, of course, also in the interest. And that's, of course, since long also a strong point for Konica Minolta to eliminate um, even the, the human factor mistake. Yeah, we try to eliminate by, tech, um, eliminate by uh, technology so that, that even less skilled people will also uh, seamlessly work with the equipment and Again, the whole workflow will be more seamless for them. Yeah, so the ease of use of onboarding people and the ability to reduce touches in the process so that right. it reduces well, the opportunity yeah. for And you error. mentioned exactly two points, which we are keep, keep saying. So the ease of use is one of our uh, pillars, which we always try to make sure that whenever we start with something, so the ease of use is in the focus and less touch points. Yeah. So And, and of course, digital is a, is a great enabler for less touch points. So these two are driving us. Driving us. And so as, as you kind of look look ahead, we can't really look ahead to Drupa 2028 because who knows, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, but you know, as, you, as you're thinking strategically about the future, what are some of the things that you're, you're going to add in or develop more? For example, you know, you're using some AI now, but I'm sure there'll be more of that in the future. That's, that's for sure. And um, um, at the moment, um, as, as also we're having a strong inroad into the packaging market, so we, okay. we made already a very good footprint into the label label business. Now we are adding also um, the, 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 the folding carton or the corrugated uh, market. We have been adding also software right now to help designers to design the right appealing um, designs for, for those applications. So when talking about small brand owners, um, it probably becomes also for them much easier to design their package and not just uh, thinking about printing them. So if, if we think future on, of course, packaging will become a very important point for the entire industry because that's still the, 
the tactile part of um, buying a product. Yeah, you can't get your Cheerios on the internet, right? <laughs> no, right, right. So, and, and from, that, from that viewpoint, we try to help also during the design process with more capabilities. capabilities. And that's why software solutions around that will become a very important point. Yeah? Well, it sounds like you have your work cut out for you. <laughs> we, yeah, we, yeah. It, it, yeah we, do. we do. And I hope that you have a successful show and that people head over to Hall 8B. Most definitely they should, they should head over to us to see us. That's yeah. right. Thank you. Thank you very much.